What is going on folks? Bows Phoenix here and I hope you all had a wonderful Easter if you celebrate that sort of thing. But before we get into today's video, I want to quickly apologize for the lack of uploads this weekend. On Saturday, I was invited to commentate on the Four Glory Proving Grounds Invitational, which I want to thank you guys for supporting, and Sunday was the holiday, so you can guess how that went. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about a post I stumbled across from user Blazius725. The post is essentially an analysis of sorts on the data we have from patch 1.05, and it looks like there are files available that detail assets for new game modes, character skins, emblem outlines, and more. Now, there's a lot of interesting information in this post, so I'll link the whole thing down below, but what I really wanted to focus on today is the info we have on a competitive ranked mode. To start, this user states that, quote, ranked mode is 100% coming. The only question is when, unquote. Now, it's not like this is a huge shocker or anything. With a game like For Honor, it was only a matter of time before we got a sort of competitive mode. I mean, it's even been hinted at by the devs themselves many times. The question now being, though, is the game in a state that's ready for a competitive mode? I'm pretty sure that most of us are in agreement that the answer to that question is a resounding hell no. To even begin thinking of implementing a competitive system, we'd first need to take a look at the game's biggest problem, connectivity. It's still terrible. Imagine being in a match, okay, and assuming they've added a punishment system for leavers. If you get booted or disconnect, you'll be punished for leaving and most likely drop in rank. It'd be totally unplayable. You'd be fighting against the game itself more than the people playing it, and with these problems as pronounced as they are at this point in time, win-loss, skill rank, or any other stat wouldn't even be close to accurate, which is pretty much the case now. You're in a match, half the other team quits, and you're fighting against bots, and now you win. It counts as a win on your record, and it's not a good indicator of skill, much less something to be taken seriously. On top of all of this, the game is currently still so unbalanced that playing anything but the top five characters and exploiting unintended mechanics like like zone flicker, unlock tech, and so on, would be a surefire way to lose. But anyway, doom and gloom aside, let's take a look at some of the assets for competitive ranked mode. Firstly, from the info I have here, it looks like ranked will be split into three game types. We'll have duel, which encompasses the duel and brawl game modes, objective, which is just basically dominion, and kill, which is your skirmish and elim game modes. Now, with the game mode set up this way, my question is, how would you queue for stuff? Will it be like how Elimination and Skirmish were before when you queued for the game mode and got randomly dropped in one of the two? If so, I don't think people are going to be happy with that. For the dual set of game modes, however, I think if you queue up with another party member, it'll probably just put you into Brawl, and if you're solo queuing, it might be a toss-up and be totally random, but this is just my best guess. Next, and interestingly enough, there's icon art for ranked icons in different game modes. These, what you're looking at now, are the kill ranked icons, which again is your skirmish and elimination game modes. This set are the dual ranked icons, which are dual and brawl, and these are the objective ranked icons. Now, it says here that these icons will be visible to other players on the scoreboard and on your profile page, but what I'm curious to know is if this will be the ranking system overall, or if it'll be like Overwatch, where you get bronze, silver, and gold medals, and so on for different stats that you achieve in each match. I think the latter half of that would be pretty unlikely, but at this point, it's really anyone's guess. From what we know, though, it looks like the ranking will be bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and master. Another little piece of info, from what I can gather, is that you might not have an overall account rank like in Overwatch or League or Dota or any of those type of games. From these little graphics, it looks like you'll have a rank in each game mode, which is pretty interesting. There are definitely people that prefer the smaller game modes and some that prefer 4v4, so it'll be nice if you don't have to play all the game modes in order to rank up. You can just kind of stick to what you're good at. But anyway, guys, even though the game, at least in my opinion, is nowhere near ready for a ranked mode, I think it's interesting that behind the scenes, there's already a lot of planning going on for this type of stuff, and it'll be pretty interesting to see how it all pans out, but... That's going to be it for today, folks. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this stuff, and while you're there, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you hated it, and get subscribed so that you never miss any new content. Until next time, though, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next one, and as always, thank you so much for watching.